Hello, here we are reporting from the art barn on December 19th, about noonish. We had some snow yesterday, and everything is good in the art barn because I'm out here. It's my day off, my job, and I'm out here in the art barn doing what I love. It's a bit of um, it's a bit of a work in progress. There's a lot going on, a lot of unfinished things left lying around, which is fine. Uh, my desk is pretty much covered with stuff, so that's awesome because uh, stuff is awesome. I'm going to set my camera up there on that red book and then film down there in a minute. I just wanted to record this. I put these scissors up, love, 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 and then I put a few other things up, but it's not, Colin's going to be like, seriously, you need to take it all down now because I can't put it up with but I'm just going to make them leave the stuff in there. Anyways, um, I got all my business plan stuff out and a couple of kids' projects there and receipts and stuff I need to just deal with. But I love how that fits in there. It's so awesome. And I can move this back a couple inches here, close to maybe two and a half. So that means I can move this back. And I'll probably end up moving that bench um, a lot of that stuff, like, this is good, but I want to sell that one. I want that. And then I, this is like my little shrine, my little um, shrine thing, elephant thing. And this is sort of like a sample of stuff and a bunch of book ideas. So I like the chair with the little table beside it there, but it's just some um, kind of mess right now. Mm -hmm. Like I even, I'm, I'm even collecting these little, Mona brings me things. She's like, check it out, mom. Check out the stuff. Check out the dried stuff I got for you. It's prizes, present for you, Mom. So I put them there in the shrine. But the shrine usually wears this, and I got him some glasses, so it's awesome. Um, I bought that thing uh, from my friend, thinking I could put all my pens in there, but the back is open. I could put some paper in the back, but it's there because I'm not using it right now. So I could put it somewhere or sell it for $10 and forget about it. Get something different. I got a lot of stuff here. I know what's over here. Like I have all my brayers there, my paper cutters, handy, um, some extra paper. I got like paper everywhere. Seriously. In here, this is sort of like the paper Rama thing in there. Like Christmas projects, they're that's my paint and inks, but these are all a mishmash of different things. And those baskets, oy vey, they're just full of fabric and projects. Um, I got some Halloween masks from like the thrift store. This one's pretty cool too. So if the little guy comes and he wants to make a art journal, then he can do that. And that's what these are for. They can cover them and make can make fun little books. Um, just different samples. So lots of people have been coming by and asking, you know, what what they're, you know, what, they want to make something, right? So they, I have all these samples all set out everywhere. This this normally isn't here. I was just, I was tidying up and getting out stuff for samples. Um, like the, you know, this kind of stuff. Did I show the pegboard? Yeah, I showed it that I was, got it partially organized. Which is awesome. I love it. It's so good. Um, let's go over here. That's um, Those are journaling by fives. I've got a few sent out. That old hairdresser appointment book. There's my base from a new sambar. I'm going to put the eagles on again. Look at my art card challenge. I should. The lights aren't on up there, but. So many awesome ones. Uh -huh. Check it out. New one. Cat hand. I can't remember your name. I'm sorry. But, okay, and this is a paper bag. Just another sample to show people. They can do collage stuff. Another sample of people, things I can teach people. Yeah, I just have these all set out so people can come and say, oh, I want to, I think I'd want to learn that. And then I, that's what we do. These are just projects that some kids were working on unfinished project because I still haven't found my staples unfinished project and yeah that's just unfinished putting away stuff 
I had the spray can out here just a few minutes ago. It's funny because when I use it, I can't go, I can't, I like, I'll use it and then I'll, I got this Creative Memories binder, but I, I just want to cover up the part that says Creative Memories, so I did a little skull and some different collages with just this spray paint. Um, yeah, so this stuff, some of it can go up there, quite a bit of it. And then I have a huge, big ironing table that I'm going to put there. I don't know where I'm going to put that trunk. I might not even need it, but I might. We'll see. It's fine. Um, I'll find a spot for that. So, yeah, big table there with a lot of the paper ephemera. Like, I have another one of those that slides underneath the table, and I've so I made this to be my little painting thing. So the other one, the other one I might just fill full of stuff that people can use for like see how the paper sits in there so I could put a lot in there and people could just pull it out and go through it. And I could organize all my paper and collage stuff in that ironing table. And then I'll have a nice ironing pad on the top. So yeah, that's what's going on there. Um a lot of that stuff underneath there it's actually a couple, see that box in the middle will go in the other bin like that underneath the ironing table. And that other stuff is another project that's related to that project up there on the button box. And that blue thing, I don't know if I should keep that blue thing. It's a big vacuum. And when I say big, I mean big. It's, no, oh, sorry, I'm going to fix that. Hopefully I haven't been covering the mic the whole time. Sorry. There you go. Okay, so... Um, yeah, it, it's kind of draped over the brace of the table that it's quite heavy and it's, it's an old machine, but I kind of like it. Like I could, I can maybe use it f for dual purposes besides it being a vacuum. Like I'm thinking of getting a steel custom table for it. Cause you can see it, it you can, you know, bolt it to this thing and it lifts up. So it's to do with, it's a vacuum to do with like photographic imaging. I don't know how it works. We researched it. They're worth like $20 worth nothing. But I could use it with the paper, the paper making thing and, and put paper on there with stencils. I have a bunch of like a million stencils and then a bunch of stencil template things I got from the lady I bought the paper beater from. So um, yeah, I don't know what to do with that. That right there is a, you know, I have to get a custom cabinet built and, and that'll be expensive, like $800, I'm assuming. So, yeah, I ordered another table. So that's going to go in over there, which is good because I'm going to move my desk that way more, which is north, towards the doors. And then people, I don't, you know, they can go back there, but I don't really want them back there. It's sort of my stuff, so, Yeah. Um, it's been eight minutes. I'm s sort of just, so I got a job to do another one of these for a car collector. And I'm pretty excited about that because it's a really good commission piece. So I'm learning a lot about maybe doing more of those and how I would make it easy on myself. So anyways, that's, that's a exciting project that's in burning in the back. I got a really got to organize all this stuff. It's kind of drives me insane. So I just got to get the bins and get with that program. More bins. Yeah. Story of my life right now. Art Barn. Thanks for watching. I'll post again soon whenever I can. Vlogmas day 19 catch up. Thanks for watching again.